So I'm going to do number five. So it says a sample of gas has a pressure of 1.15 atm. So I'm going to write my given on the side just to organize it a bit. So P1 is equal to 1.15 atm. And the temperature of 10.0 degrees Celsius. So that's the first temperature that they gave me, 10.0 degrees Celsius. And I will never use Celsius in these gas loss formulas. Therefore, I will convert this to Kelvin by adding 273.15. So I'm going to get 283.15. I will round that to 283.2 because I only have one decimal place here. So I get one decimal place. That's Kelvin. If the volume is constant, that means I don't have to consider it here. What will be the temperature? So the second temperature is missing. T2 is what? At 3 atm. So P2 is 3 atm. Okay, so I need, it looks like it almost doubled, not quite, so the temperature should almost double, but not the, temp, the Celsius temperature, but the Kelvin temperature. Okay, not quite double, but increased by the same amount. So the formula for P and T and P and T would be given up here. So this is P and T. This is Guy Lusset's law. Okay, so the formula will be written here. Where's this formula? P1, T1 is equal to P2, T2. And then I will plug in with the units. So I will plug in 1.15 atm divided by 283.2 Kelvin. Make sure you write the units so you know what unit you will get in the end and make sure that they cancel. And then P2 is 3.00 atm. And what will be the new temperature? This would be X. Okay, so this is the plug-in with the units. Mathematically, I'm just gonna rewrite this um, without the units because it's kind of confusing me a bit. 283.2 equals 3 over x. Okay, so to do this mathematically, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna, some students will multiply 1, 3 on both sides. You won't get the right answer that way. You will get 1 over x. So what I will do is I will cross multiply that together. It'll be 1.15x equals this together. So that is 283.2, 283.2 times 3, 849.6. Okay, then divide by 1.15 on both sides. So keep that number in the calculator. I just divided by 1.15. I should get 738. X is equal to 738.7. So with 738.8 is what I got, but with three sig figs, one, two, three, three everywhere, I'm going to do 739. In terms of the units, the ATM will cancel once I divide, and then the K should be the unit here. So the answer should be 739 Kelvin.